if I take a ballot and I'm voting for Ifuagati, how do I know that my votes will be counted as a vote for Ifuagati in this electronic arrangement? That is what was demonstrated on the... Do they tell me my vote? Nobody would. That, your vote is your secret. No, I mean, after I voted, do they tell me? Because I think in America they tell you. So you voted for Donald Trump. Yeah, that is if... I, I'm the only one who will hear it, though. I go into the booth, I click the thing. Voting Dan, yeah. Mr. Paul Adamachi, you have voted for Donald Trump. Yes, we don't have that voice. Mm -hmm. But we have the... It will tell you, go back and check your... Once you get to the page, of course, it should check whether you are a robot or... So you tick. Mm -hmm. Then it will go to the page. Before you start voting, it will tell you to insert your one-time password, which has been sent to you by EMS, uh, SMS or email. Mm -hmm. So once you insert your password, the choices come onto the screen. So for president, you'll get Mrs. Gatti, you have You just click on who you want. Uh, vice president, click on who you want and uh, treasurer, you click on who you want. When you finish, it will say, go back and check your choices mm -hmm. and confirm. Mm -hmm. So you go back, yes, I've voted for the right people that I want. Then you click confirm. It will tell you your vote has been successful. End of story. How do candidates' agents check this? Because we know that in election, candidates' agents should be there to check. How do they check it? So, so where is this information going, that voting that has taken place? With the electoral commission. Electoral commission is sitting in Boga. Yes. And it's they, are, they are the only people who have access At that to place, the that, do candidates have rep, reps there? Be, in uh, Bulga. At the Electoral Commission desk, yes. Yes, yes. Candidates have reps there? Yes. Where but, the results are coming in? Yes, but the point is that if somebody is voting virtually and he's in the States, he votes and it will show on the screen mm -hmm. that uh, Mr. Paul Adumotri, mm -hmm. he has voted. Mm -hmm. That is, if you want to contest that uh, your vote was either not counted. Yeah, so, so it will yes. show he's voted. Uh, yes, what? the election... When will it show who he voted for? When the EC opens it at the back end, the EC will show you how you voted. And you can confirm that this is how I voted because... No, not, not, the, not the, the voter, yes. but the, the ben potential beneficiary or the yes. loser of the vote. Whose agent wants to be sure that this Paul Adomachi sitting in New York yes. actually voted against me or voted for me? How does the agent know? Because it comes up with the electronic system. So when yeah. you're counting, yes. you will count. How, when you're counting, who else sees it? It's the electoral committee and the agents who are there. So what do they see? When they see my name, or yes. they won't see me, they'll just see 13 votes for you. Kweku Boedu has joined us. He is the uh, president. Who is he? Who is Kweku Boedu? He's the chairman of our ICT committee. Is he a member of the bar? Yes, he's a lawyer as well. Oh, so Kweku Boedu, he's, he, he's in charge of uh, the ICT in Legon as well, the, the new course. Okay. He's so, uh, welcome, Mr. Kweku Boedu. I'm, I'm uh, sure uh, thank, thank you've been here a long time ago. So, let me ask you the question. So, okay. a candidate. I am, I am Ufuagati. I'm, I'm Yabuafu. I want to be sure about the integrity of this voting process. If Mr. Forsen is in America and he votes, how, do you have agents at your desk? Have you allowed them to have agents with you? Yeah, okay. So just as we have explained, we are using the OTP security. And if you know about OTP, this is what the banks use. So we've, we've re invested in security to make sure that nobody can break into the system. And if the, the banks use it for transfer of money, you can imagine the level of security it is. Uh, your vote, every, every voter's vote is secret. So it is the OTP that controls, and you are the only person who knows what OTP has been given to you. And that OTP is sent to you it, uh, both by email and then uh, via SMS. And you hold it. Now, when you want to vote, as soon as you declare your intention to vote, it will ask you for the OTP. When you put in the OTP, then it will open the page and allow you to vote. After, after voting, it will then bring back to you what you voted on and give you the opportunity to confirm. If you want to cancel, you can cancel. If you want to go back and change your mind, you can do that. Until you confirm to say that, yes, this is what I want. I've seen it for the second time. This is what I want. Then it is sealed. Now, uh, the EC has is seated with the candidates and their agents. And there's a screen, a large screen, which is beamed, so they all see it. And we've rehearsed this several times with the- What do they all see? What do they all okay, see? Okay, so, so what the EC sees is, 
uh, the, the bar number and then whether this person has voted or not. Yes, but who did the person vote for? You, that you will not see. Who will see that? Okay. Now, nobody sees that until election is over mm -hmm. and if there's a dispute, somebody comes and says, I want to see it. Okay. Then you will have to then disclose your OTP to the EC. And the database is, is there for you to, for you together okay, with I'll the come to that. EC. So walk us through the process. Election is closed. Okay. Data is opened. What will we see? We'll see 700 if we got 700 yabuafo. Exactly. So as soon as as soon as, the, as soon as the elections are closed, the results are displayed immediately. Like a minute. What do you do with them, those who voted in person? Uh, yeah, okay. They'll so that will be manual voting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the EC EC run is going to mount a booth and uh, do his manual voting. So when voting is over, the EC will then have to collate the manual voting and integrate it into the electronic results. And count it. And count it. Manual will be those who are in there. Ex in well, person. well, you can be in you can be in there and still decide to vote electronically. If you have registered to do so. Yes. No, you don't no. Every single voter is given an OTP. So you can choose to vote wherever from whatever location. No, but people have sent us texts that they have decided to, they had decided earlier to vote virtual. Now, because they, they thought they would not be there. Now they are going to be there. So they want to vote in person. They are being told that they cannot. Mm, that, 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 that's not the case. They are talking about conference participation. No, their concern was also the election. Okay, now the election, uh, you, you, you have, once you have, once every lawyer has an OTP, you can then choose to vote uh, from whatever location. Even if you're in Bulga, you can choose to vote from your hotel room or even if you're at a conference center. Okay. However, the conference itself is being organized and you are, you are being asked whether you want to uh, attend conference uh, in person. I want to vote, or, or I want to vote in person. Okay. As for the conference, when I come there, I will not even attend. I'm a young lawyer, I'm happy-go-lucky, I'm excited about Bulga, I won't come. But on Wednesday, I want to come and vote for Ifuagati. Now, whilst, 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 whilst registering, the question is not asked whether you want to vote in person or virtually. The system assumes that anybody and everybody can vote electronically. So it's a different question. You are not asked whether you want to vote okay, virtually. Okay, but now I, want, I, I said virtual first. Now I want to vote in okay, person. You, can you, I do that? Okay, now you didn't say you wanted to vote virtually. You said you wanted to participate, participate in conference virtually. Okay, virtually. I, I get that. that is where the issue I is. I get that. Okay. So having said that, I now, however, want to come and do the voting in person. Okay, that has nothing to do with the voting system. That has to do with the management of the conference. Okay, so and you are saying that the voting will take place inside the conference. Yes, the voting, okay, so the voting is a conference event. Yes, so if I am not allowed to attend the conference in person, it automatically means I cannot vote in because I can't enter the room. Well, so the conference organizer is saying that once you opted to participate virtually, you have to vote uh, virtually. Uh, he is not allowing you to en enter the room. So that's a confer conference issue. But if that were resolved, if the bar president decides tomorrow upon an application from some lawyers that please let us come, you don't have any problem. They can come, and vote. The, they can come of, and vote in person. In terms of the voting, you can choose whatever, however so, you want to vote. So once they get into the conference, they can choose to vote That's, in person. You, vo you choose how That's you want to vote. The you, issue. Can even, you can even be sitting next to the ballot box and decide to use I get uh, it. electronically. I get it. Or you can come there and say, okay, I wanted to vote electronically, and now I want to vote manually. That's... that's that, I'm surprised that, that the ball is in your, back in your court then. That, that, to that to, is to is look no at the application at of these people who say that I wasn't going to go, but my boss is now taking me to allow them to be able to go in there. Yeah, but how does he have access to the conference? You just have to give him access. <laughs> no, no, no. That is clear. The conference door closed. There's, an, uh, uh, there's a swiping um, ma uh, machine. Uh -huh. So once you swipe, there will be people there guarding that machine. If you swipe and you don't have access through your RFID tag, you can't enter. So how do you go near uh, the voting place? So will you bring a ballot outside? You are, you are, you are legislating chaos, Chairman. But why? Now, the one issue, for instance, <laughs> is mm -hmm. uh, we, this, is an election, this is an election year. Yeah. So, uh, and we're doing everything electronically. Mm -hmm. 
So there must be a cutoff point where now we have to compile the data and the bar center has to hand over to the easy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if we keep going back to, rev to reverse decisions, when is the bar center going to cut off and say, easy, this is your album? This is the problem. Okay, but that album is the next question. They, they say candidates don't have the album. They yeah, yeah, that is the problem. But why don't they have it? Today is Thursday. Well, because it is precisely because of that. Uh, 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 registration was supposed to close on Sunday. Now, members of the bar prevailed on the executive to, to, to extend. Mm -hmm. So having extended to Monday, now it closes. And having closed, now the bar center now has to now integrate... There are some bodies, like Attorney General, uh, like the Bar Council, uh, who do not come onto the portal to register because they are handled in bulk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now is the time they have to sit back, having now closed the door, sit back and do the integration, get the data, and say that, you see, now this is what we have. And you see... When will that happen? Yeah, so that is supposed to happen that I, I understand... But tomorrow, that, that, that should happen. But by this weekend... So that candidates that will get the album tomorrow? That is, that is my understanding. Are you going to vote electronically? My, your, yes, are you sir. asking me a personal yes, question? Yes, your personal question, yes. I will, yes, I'll vote electronically. I'll be, at the, I'll be at the conference, but I'll vote electronically. Why? The, because COVID. So we want to avoid queues. Oh, the COVID. Yes. Mm. So even if I'm at the, at the centre, I don't want to go, and jo, jo, go, go, to, go want to join a queue. Okay. Somebody says, I like Mr. Boydu's explanation. Uh, quite clear. Can you please ask him that if he votes electronically, can he please, please vote for a Fuagati? <laughs> no, why not? <laughs> Would you oblige that request? <laughs> oh, of course, we are not supposed to. We, we, we don't, to we don't, talk, we don't talk about we don't talk about how we vote. <laughs> okay. And especially, I am, I am involved, I've been involved in the IT issues mm. uh, from, from get-go. But how are you a lawyer and doing IT? Which one do you prefer? Uh, that's my background. Uh, Which I, background is what? Both? Yes, I, my, my, I started off as a computer science as an engineer be, before becoming a lawyer. Oh, I see. That's so my, speci my specialty is IT law, actually. So IT law? Yes. So by the time you were studying law, you were already an engineer? Yes. Masad, have you heard it? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard? <laughs> Have you yeah. heard how somebody has finished studying uh, engineering, which yeah. is complete, so it's fine. He, you were married, eh? Yeah. yeah he was married, eh? <laughs> His wife yeah. is also doing PhD now. Yeah. Oh, your wife is doing a PhD now, the president tells me. It's a diploma. <laughs> oh, like, like, like I, 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 I'm, I'm a law lecturer in Where? Legon. Legon. Oh, okay. Legon, University of Ghana. Yes. Okay, so are you rich? <laughs> <laughs> you used to, em yes, you used to employ me. <laughs> are you rich? <laughs> I'm asking for the young people who have surrounded you. They are all university students, and they, they well, well, well. My experience is that hard work, hard work pays, and I have worked hard. Okay. No, you have not answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, it's a legal answer. <laughs> well, I've, I've worked hard. Hard work pays, eh? Yes. And, and, so and, what doesn't and I can pay? I show you the hard work pays. What doesn't pay? Of course, the reverse is true. Slay Queen is in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to serious yeah, matters. Let's get back to serious yeah. matters. And, and one, thing, one thing we need to know is mm -hmm. that uh, this electronic voting has been rehearsed over yeah. and oh, over. Yeah. We've done four mock elections, and then we have done actual voting, the entire bar. We've done actual voting to amend our constitution. constitution. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then we have held a seminar, uh, a, a webinar, well, all lawyers were allowed to log on for training. So those who are concerned, and I can, I can tell you, we are, we, are, we are journalists, we are picking up the information. Yes. The people in the camp of the Lady of Agati are worried that, that this whole IT system was uh, fabricated with uh, their, their competitor as part of the, of the bar executives. And therefore, they are a bit unnerved about its processes and its level of potential manipulation. Okay. How can you assure people? Yeah, okay, so, so uh, we, we've, held, we've held discussions, we've sat with uh, candidates, their agents. At our last meeting, they brought in their IT experts. So, okay. so candidates, brought, candidates brought their IT yes, experts? Yes, candidates okay. brought their IT experts. Okay. Okay, and we opened the system up mm -hmm. to show candidates, their agents, their IT experts, this is, whilst 
lawyers are voting, this is what's going on in the background. Mm -hmm. This is what the computer is doing. Mm -hmm. This is what the ECCs. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we, we gave them the password. We, we really opened the system up. Okay. Now test it. Okay? So various aspects. We brought council, we brought a council of the bar into a room. Okay? So right in the room, you vote and then you check whether the computer has registered your vote. Okay? And since your vote is secret, you know your OTP. So we allow them. Having voted, uh, you note who you voted for in the mock election, and then you disclose your OTP. This, is, this was with the candidates and their IT experts. Okay? Now you disclose your OTP to the whole room. The results are beamed to the screen. Now you tell us who you voted for, and, we, and since it's secret, we'll go through the OTPs. Okay? So let's say my OTP is MXX. TQ. Okay, so once I've disclosed it, we then go and search MXXTQ who this particular person voted for. And then one by one it discloses and they accepted that yes, this is this is how I voted. Okay. The only thing is nobody knows who you who, who, nobody can look at it and know who you voted for. But if once you are ready to disclose your OTP, we can tell. And that file uh, says there in soft copy that it's an easy file, he can print it. Uh, so, we, so we, if it turns out in the results, a, a particular candidate wins the paper votes, the in person, yes, but another candidate wins the election by winning a landslide in the electronic votes. If we get that kind of analysis where electronic voters seem to be voting one way and paper voters are voting another way that's going to be concern oh. well 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 the, the the rule of the ec and this is council decision mm. the bar council has decided that this is how lawyers are voting this year so the ballots will be counted electronic the electronic ballots will be counted the manual uh, manual ballots will be counted and whoever wins in a, when we combine the two is the winner so it's difficult to say that, oh, uh, because I, I, do you know who will vote electronically and who will vote manually? You can't tell. Hmm. You cannot tell. And then let me also address the issue of this was put together with uh, a candidate. Yeah, yeah, a candidate who was part of the executive. No, no. Listen, in 2018, when uh, uh, Tony won the election, we dreamt up 23 IT projects. We did not bring this project because of, because of COVID. These projects were dreamed up in 2018. And we put them in daily graphic and said, we want companies to bid for these jobs. So you can go back to daily graphic, OK? And uh, the, the Justin Amenufo, who used to be the secretary, the, uh, the general secretary, uh, was on the I IT committee. So when he lost election, the next general secretary uh, happens to be Abuafo. Okay, happens to supervise, and he has nothing to do. I don't have anything to do with programming it. He, nobody, no lawyer has anything to do with programming it. We, we have come up with the idea, we've designed it. Uh, programmers have taken, taken it and applied their expertise and programmed it. It's, that's how it works. So, I see. It, so there's, there's, there's no such thing as uh, somebody has been involved. No. And by the way, we have gone through the system several times, not once, not twice, not three times. Okay? Open it up. Anybody who has any questions. Okay. I think that's, that, that brings it to a firm conclusion. The, the text messages will keep coming. We can hold that. But we'll put it on our Facebook page so those lawyers who see it will bring it to the attention of the president. Matilda, what do you have to say? Nanahema British, she says, how can we trust this method of election? Or in better words, can this method of election be trusted? If yes, why? Okay. And I think you have spoken at length yeah. about that. So I'd okay. like to go on to the next question. Electronic voting is used in several countries around the world. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, so and, and, and listen, listen, we have no choice but to go this way. The numbers now, as the, uh, as the last time I checked, we have 4,882 lawyers on our roll. Now, how are we going to handle these things without, 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 without using computers? Without migrating to electronic. Yeah, we can't. We, there's to no put way. put 4,000 people in a, in a particular place no, for No, we cannot. There, Even 3,000. There's no auditorium in this country that can host 4,882 lawyers. No, you mean people or lawyers? <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, the, uh, people. And the, lawyers come with their, with their special the, problems. The, the Ajanasari <laughs> auditorium can take 7,000. Okay. 
Okay. And uh, ICGC is building a new auditorium at Trade Fair, the Christ Temple East, Pastor Otabel's new latest addition. That can also take. Okay. I see. Yeah. But, but remember that uh, uh, the population of lawyers is growing like a thousand per year. It is, it is. So in the next six years, you are hitting towards 10,000. Yes. And if that day comes and you haven't prepared like this, how are you going to conduct okay. it? And, and we, we have to do it, correct whatever mistakes we find, and move forward. There's, we, don't have any, we don't have any choice. Hopefully those to mistakes do. will not be at the expense of um, um, uh, an election. Well, that, this, is the reason, this is the reason why all of us have participated in the process and decided this is how it should be done.